Hello guys, it's Lucian. Welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Wild. And uh, we're back on Egyptian Sand Dance, you remember? And last time we finished up building some bits and pieces. I've probably got some staff to add in as well, but when I add staff I'll, I'll check out you guys for naming. We've got some people in the park here already. Uh, some people were saying my stands were not activated, but they clearly are. Uh, but that may have been on another, um, another map as such. So, you can see what we've done. We've originally... What happened right there? Did you sell something? Oh no, probably, probably something else. Anyway, so we've built up our park. Oh, it's getting a little bit dark. <laughs> it's very dark, in fact. That's kind of cool, actually. Look at the um, look at the cool boats at night, rocking and rolling. Get on here. We're going up. Whoa! So cool at night time. Yeah, they're loving the hell out of it. They're ready to go down. Always are. Little, little ram. Splash, splash, splash. How awesome. We've got our new ride up here, look. Let's get out of here. Right. So yeah, we've got our new ride set up. Look at this thing. It's rocking. People are loving it as well. People are going for the riding. Some of you guys were saying to me that uh, I can put up the price of my rides a little bit. Uh, considering the queue is pretty full on this thing, I would maybe agree. So let's try that bit. I'll bump it up a little bit. Some people were saying a lot, but I don't know, like in my experience, you can't put the prices up too high because then people start saying they don't want to go on it, so I don't mind putting it up a little, but seriously, uh, people start sort of, they don't like it. Um, like this thing, I guess this I can probably put up a bit more, I'll put that two pound. But we'll watch people's thoughts, so these guys are going on it right here, let's see if they have any thoughts. Ooh, my mouse is trying to get away from me. Really good value, really good value, really good value. Okay, so we'll go to 50, 60. Let's check the thoughts. Have some more feedback, just to get an idea about what we can actually charge. Too busy, too busy, it is too busy. No negative thoughts coming in about the thing, so, all right, put it on. Maybe this price is auto-adjusted? Yeah, good. Hope for the ostrich is about to give birth. Oh, very nice. A lot of crap on the ground here. Could potentially need another wildlife keeper, but we have got two keepers. But maybe we need somebody else to go check it out. So, who's that going to be? Let's look. I need to go back to my... Um, I need to go back to the gaming channel. I actually have this up on my other computer. Hold up. I need to go and find out. You, can, you guys can watch the camels for a sec while I just... <laughs> this is quality gaming right here. Uh, let me just go back and we'll find who deserves to be my next keeper. Uh, let me go back through here. Right. Right. Who do we have on the list? Security, janitor, security. I'll drop in a new security guard. Ah ha ha! Age 1000 is our next keeper. So congrats, Age 1000, you get to be a new keeper. I am going to drop a security guard in there, but who will it be? Bit of a tricky one. Hmm. Let's have a look, see. But anyway, right, let's get um, new blah blah blah. So currently we've got Dropping Feeds, he's our janitor. Fireman Mike, he's also janitor. Alter Held. Lord of the Rings is ace. He's not happy. He's sad, in fact. That's not good. Everybody else is okay, or Alter Held is very happy. Um, Lord of the Rings is a security guard. Why are you unhappy? Probably his 15 pound weight. 60% laziness. Sort that out. A bit of disciplining right there. We'll give you some training there. Look, look now he's okay. He's alright with that. A little bit of training. I slap around the air. Sort him out. No problem. Right. New. Oh, no. One of our fences just broke. I saw this happen before, like it just randomly collapsed. And over here, look. I don't know if I'm going to manually fix that, but we'll try to do that. Anyway, right, we're going to have a new uh, keeper, and the new keeper is going to be age 1000. So, down you go. Um, I don't know if I can... Hey, how come none of our animal keepers are... Did you just fall over? <laughs> this is keeper three. 
Yeah, I'm going to have him just on dung duty, basically. Look at 87% laziness. Where the hell did we hire this person from? Give him, Jesus, sort him out. Right, Animal Keeper 3 is going to be age 1000. There we go. Now, I'm surprised I didn't have these other ones named, so I'm going to put um, up here as Animal 1. You can be, uh, we put Fidelis Battlefield in. Fidelis Battlefield. And uh, I'm actually just randomly picking people who haven't necessarily requested. Because there wasn't many other people who wanted to be keepers. A Swamp Ninja, you can be a keeper as well. He's a regular subscriber. There we go. Swamp Ninja, there. Right, you guys are doing an excellent job. And we're just going to need one more security guard. Maybe that's why Lord of the Rings is uh, not happy. He's doing, you know, he's got all this park to police. He's got a big job in his hands. He can't do it all himself. So we're going to get a new security guard. And the security guard too. Also unhappy. Look, the security guards. Where, where do we find this staff from? Um, security guard. The first person that asked right there is uh, Enchanted Banana. I'm just going to call you Enchanted. Uh, I'll call it... Alright, okay, I'll do the full name. There we go. Unhappy again, though. Look, we'll give you some... Oh, hang on. 60% laziness. We've got to change whatever agency we're getting these staff from, seriously. They're all throwing tantrums as soon as they arrive. Might need to get some more janitors soon as well. And uh, I've got somebody lined up for that, so no problem. Right, let's get on with achieving our objectives. Now we're doing okay on the cash here. We've got 10 grand coming in. People are like, let's see what people are thinking about my price increase as well on the twirly thing. Uh, yep, no complaints. The Lion Show, it's looking pretty active. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. Great, great, great. Let's put the price up a little. I do remember on a different, I don't want to put too much because I remember on another um, map. I posted a bit too high than that, and uh, people didn't like it. Man, it really gets dark here. Like, annoyingly dark. Oh yeah, we're going to check the fences before we do anything else. Let's check that. Um, I don't know if... I haven't... I can't remember doing this. Yeah, see, I can't just delete it. I think I have to pause. What the crap? Do I have to, like, delete it? Tell me if I'm. there's a simpler way of doing this. I can't even delete it. So how do you fix this? It's probably some super simple way of doing it. I mean, I could do that, but that's not the right way. So how do you fix it? Well, the animals don't seem to be escaping, but... I mean, it's pretty stupid. I mean, you can do that, but that's not a solution. Unless you did like that, and then deleted that. Oh, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I've got to use the delete tool from this. Maybe that's it. Ah, that is it. Well, that's it's hardly a perfect solution, is it? Right, okay. we got to do this one here. Do that, and do that. Whoa! Inside a pyramid right there. Any more? If any more? I think we're good. Looks fine. I don't really understand whether that actually makes any difference. Maybe it makes the animals unhappy, or makes people think it's not so good, or whatever. Right, we probably look to get some more animals soon, but in the meantime, by the way, the splish splash people are loving the crap out of. Look, £1.60, you're having a laugh. £2.60, more like. Right, on with the show. Now then, uh, some people were saying about how we should build a swimming pool, because that seemed a really awesome idea. And several people suggested that I build it up here, which does seem a good idea. Um, it also seems a good idea because I can totally destroy this monument and uh, use it as a way of like a slide, kind of a slide coming down the pyramid. Tell me if you think that's a good idea or whether, <laughs> or whether I should be respectful. So the only trouble is we've got kind of a little bit of distance. So, but I, I am going to build it up here. So let's get started on that. All right, we'll get a bit of water going down. Remember, these things are always so damn expensive as well. Hey, look at this. It's like it's like cutting into the sand. That's weird. Does it do that everywhere else? Does it do that on the ground? How weird. It doesn't normally do that. Okay. Uh, let's do it like this. Two grand pool. Why does it dip into the sand like that? Look at that. 
Look, it like dips right down. It's going to be a pain in, for me to kind of build onto. I don't like the look of this at all. Right, anyway, we'll put a bit of this down. Oh, I'm doing the right click again. I had this real problem right clicking before now, which was causing me problems. Uh, let me just hold on, go back to my capture device. Yeah, make sure we're all good. Right. Um, I'm just building some exterior sort of surfaces so that the people have. Do you know what? We're going to go down this side as well. I don't know. I might have some sides come in on this end or something. For now, I don't know. Uh, let's just add a bit more of this here. Right, how are we doing for cash? Not too bad. Um, right, we need to build a bit of path up here. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm trying to just figure out the best way to go. It doesn't really matter greatly. So we'll just go along here like so. And like this. It's kind of annoying how you can't see that very well. Huh, interestingly, okay, we can't seem to go up here, so, can we not just... This is going to be one of those times where I should be using the editor. How do you go back into the editor? I can't remember. Ah, oh, here we go. Can't you go into, like, editor mode? Damn it, I haven't played this game for so long, I cannot remember. I know that you can normally go into, like... Instead of doing it this way, you can go into an editor mode, but I can't remember how to do that. Ah, this is it. Okay, cool. So we click like that, and then... We can do like this, you see. Oh, hang on. Freak me out there, my other videos just saying. Right. So yeah, by using the editor, you see, you can get some options that maybe it wouldn't be so easy to get ordinarily. So now I can do this, go back, it's obviously not working well enough, there we go. Steps up, steps up, steps up. So you see basically it's giving us the uh, ability to get up here where we couldn't before. So that's what we're doing, steps up, steps up. And we're getting kind of on the level now. On the level, you see. On the level, I'm just going to do a slope, slope. There we go, we're back down on the ground. It's kind of screwed up that tile, but whatever. Um, right, so now we've got a bit of a path. Now this is actually pretty good, because that means we can run a path off in that direction, and this direction too. Uh, it means we can get some sort of general access going on out here. Um, so let's build our entrance, basically. Now the entrance is going to be kind of weird, because... Because of the way it's been doing this dipping, so... I'm a bit confused about how we're going to do that. Let's... Uh, and I hate this. Look at the way it's like screwing up the land. And if I go back, it's already done it. So there's no getting around it. This is like the worst path making thing ever, this area. Really hating it. Look at it, it's so bad. This area is really, really not good for making paths. I'm hating it. And I don't even know what level I'm meant to be on to get to this damn thing. I'm turn this way. Looking at it, now it's trying to go back into sand? What the crap? I mean, are we even on the right level here? I don't know. This is stupid. This is not... Because we, we don't want it like that anyway. Let's just go, uh, let's get out of this for a sec. We need to go into here, because we need, uh, what's going to be appropriate for this? Probably just the default changing room. Right, we'll put a, right, see look, it's not letting us do it for a start. Right, there we go. Right, now we can go back into our weird path editor. Okay, apparently that's resolved it, apparently. Um, the reason I'm making like a quadrangle thing here is so that we can get some stores going on. I'm going to probably put them along these edges and leave like some trees in here or something like that. Right, we need to get some... Uh... Man, look how dark it is. Jesus, I can't see a thing. Right, we're going to need some uh, lighting, so let's get that on and go. 
Uh, lighting, lighting, lighting. There's those torches we had. It's prehistoric lamps. Safari lamps, here we go. Right, we need some safari lamps. I need a few safari lamps. There we go. I'm going to leave that bit. Okay. Right, we're, we're getting slowly there now, guys. Right, we're just placing these down here, sort of path markers. We definitely need more lights than I thought. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Safari bins. Let's get some more of those on the go. Because we don't want people dropping their crap everywhere. Let's get one going down up here. Right. Now let's get some uh, let's get some shops going up. I'm gonna open this up already. Let's put a two pound charge straight on it. Now we haven't, um, oh yeah, before we build shops we should build uh, there's some sundry things we need, like lifeguards. We need lifeguards, we need showers, we need all that stuff. Lifeguard, we need showers when people come in. One, two, just put that down. Uh, we need a thing so that people can get out of the pool. I need to put it there, put it... Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's one of the giant tiles. We'll have one there, we'll have one down there, that'll do. Um, right, we're just building a basic pool to begin with, so we'll just have a, a diving board to straight up. And uh, we'll put some similar jacuzzis. It's very, very hot out here, so we want some sun umbrellas. We'll have some of those, we'll have a couple of umbrella sort of things dotted around. Like so. And for the crazy sun people who want it sunshiny, We'll get some more sunbeds for you. Right, there we go. And we're going to need some lighting because you know how dark it gets at night. It gets crazy dark at night. So we're going to have one and two. And... Uh, okay, I'm going to get rid of those sunbeds. I'm going to have one and two. And maybe we'll even go three, four. Right, there we go. Right, so that is our pool set up. It's definitely kitted out. Uh, we just need people to come up here. It looks like these kids are crazy for the water sliding, so that's good. Um, what else do we need? We probably need a simple slide, uh, which is very convenient, considering on the last episode, we actually made our simple slides. So now, uh, apparently though, we've only researched Lazy River. However, we did create Silver River, remember, which was my, uh, my attraction ride that I created in my design park which was actually incredibly popular and I liked it as well right so we're gonna put it here like this now how is that gonna work not too bad actually I'll probably dress this up a little bit how much is it costing us two grand that's definitely well worth it so I'm gonna put that in straight off now okay look we've got a bit of uh, landscaping we need to do but that's fine people we can we can dress it up with trees and other stuff um, I'm not, I'm not going to manipulate the land, definitely, because that's going to cost way too much, but, um, yeah, right, we just need to make some, uh, this is the station bit, I believe, yeah, right here is the sort of station, I'm not sure how much of it is the station, but, uh, uh hang on a sec, oh, this is okay, actually, oh, now they give me the slides, okay, fine, and anyway, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, like that, maybe, now we go six, right. Now I just need to get uh, these bits. I found that this was the best way for getting up, actually, was these uh, little ramps. Uh, people seem to get up pretty good with the ramps, so I'm going to put a few ramps down, and it means people can easily get up there. Now the only downside is these sunbeds are going to be right where people don't want them to be now, so... Uh, I might just change that around a bit. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to how the park looks. I will have them facing the pool look and then they can watch people playing around in the pool. I'll have some more here and here. 
Right, there we go. Perfect. Somebody's coming in already. Okay, now we're going to need some... We've got a lot more people on the way, so let's just pause real quick because we need to build up some shops. Like I said, we want to get some shops for people so that they can buy the crap they need. So I'm going to put a toilet block up here as well because it's always invaluable that people have the facilities they need. Uh, right, what else have we got? Food and drink, we don't want that. I want just kind of sundry stores. Where's the uh, swimming pool stores? We need to research this. We have none of the things that we need. In fact, yeah, that's kind of bad. Hmm, let's go to our research tree. Shops and facilities, we want to whack that up max. Uh, scenery, no. Paths, no. Show elements, no. Pool sides and rides, yep, let's put that up a bit. Transport rides, no, not right now anyway. Other rides, no. Water rides, put that down half. Gentle rides, half. Thrill rides, can stay. Junior rides, half. Right, hopefully that'll prioritise things a little bit. Roller coasters, not too fast. We'll put that up. We'll put this up to the budget to 300 as well. We can swing that. Right, so apparently we can't do too much to sort of insinuate people in. Look how dark it gets, seriously. Super dark out here. I need to uh, another light down over here as well. Let's grab that. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, we got it. Everybody's coming now. Everybody wants the water side experience. Right, now. This guy thought he had the pool to himself, but pretty soon, oh, it's all going chaos. <laughs> Poor old chap here, Fraser. Fraser thought he had the swimming pool to himself, but oh no, everybody's coming in here. Wow, I just got thrown up the pyramid. Who's going to go on the lazy river first, though? It's actually pretty popular, this uh, sort of thing. Once I had it going in my design park, people were loving the crap out of it. But um, Wow, look, everybody wants to come in here now. I think we can definitely put the price up a bit on this. Let's just see the thoughts. Pool is great, it's pooltastic. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Pooltastic. I'm gonna put this up to £3.50. I don't know whether that's too much, but uh, I, I figure like once you've got the pool complex though, people can, you know, there's a lot to do in the pool complex, so it seems a fair price. Right, what else is happening? The ostriches and uh, everybody are doing very well. Oh, we've got baby ostriches as well, which is good. Baby ostriches, once the ostriches start breeding, we're really quids in because uh, you can sell those for a tasty profit. This ride is still doing very well. Want to go again, want to go again. Put the price up a little bit then. Now then, what's going on here? Oh, it's broken down. How are our staff doing? All happy and good. Ah, oh, Fidelis, I just literally promoted you to being a proper keeper and you're unhappy. What's going on? Give you some training, buddy. There you go, you're okay now. Right, uh, <clears throat> what else have we got? Okay, the pool is getting pretty popular. Nobody's stepping out onto the... Uh, Thing yet though. Oh, do I have to open it? Duh, Lutin. Oh my god. Brain dead Lutin. Right, watch this. They're going to hit straight on it now. Yep, there we go. See, straight on it. Once they uh, give them a few minutes to kind of get used to the idea, and they're loving it. Right, let's get some scenery on the go because I want to dress this up a little bit. We need those big palms that we've had before, so got to find that. Da -da 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 -da. Where is it at? Palm, palm, palm. Palm, 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 palm. Who remembers that advert? What was it for? Um. Ah, uh, come on. Where are you? It's not. A, it's a washy palm. Is what we want. I should remember where this was from last time. Do, 
do, do, do, do. Unless I can't, unless I don't have it available. Ah, here it is. Right, I'm gonna use the washi palms. That's a bit of, there we go. See, immediately it looks so much better. Get a bit down here as well. It's good to put uh, the kind of palms and shrubs and things on kind of uneven ground because it kind of suddenly makes the uneven ground seem just more bearable and pleasing. All right, we're going to whack these all down through here. This automatically makes this ride seem much more kind of just nicer and uh, like a bit more of an experience. Just kind of adds the scenery, you know. All right, there we go. I like how there's just this little hole here like this, look. <laughs> we'll put one in there all the same, it's all good. We have a palm grove right here. Do, 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 do. Right, there we go. So it's palm-tastic. It can be called the, uh, the Palm Laguna Swimming Complex. Right, get a couple more down here, just for uh, the sake of it. There we go. That's yeah, looking pretty good all of a sudden. Right, uh, bada bada. Uh, look, see my lighting is working very well, very necessary. I don't think we can actually light uh, rides though, unfortunately, I don't think. Or can we? Never really tried. Nope, can't light the rides. Got the underwater lighting as well. It's not having any of that, I don't think. Nope. But we can put it in the pool, so let's do that. Look, there we go. Light the pool up for everybody. One in the middle. One here. One here. And one under the diving board, which we can't do because it's under the diving board. But one here, though. That'll have to do. All right, we've got Alpine Coaster available. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, we have got the slide available now as well, haven't we? So let's look what slides we can make. Body slides. Designs available eight. Brands Revenge. That was my super fast, super cheap ride. Red River Roller, my slightly more expensive but much cooler ride. Let's check this one out. So in the design park, if you didn't see that episode, the concept was to make sort of cheap but uh, simple and fun rides so that when you actually come to having your park like we do right now, you can immediately get on and have some rides. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this one in here straight away. And then I, I don't know if I've got space. I might actually have space for the Baron's Revenge one. Yeah, look, see, this is, yeah, see, this is perfect, you see. This is the whole point of going to the design park and building these, is so that, look, I can immediately create now, just by having these, I can just pull them up, place them straight in, and immediately we have a kind of working water park. And look, it's taken me only a few minutes. Whereas if I had to actually take the time to build these up, it would have taken me so much longer to do that. Right, let's uh, run out some paths out to these things. I'm probably going to have to... I'm going to build a sort of two-way path going around here. Obviously we've got some money to recoup, but that's okay, I'll come back in. Right, um, let's just build it straight out from here. Got to try and watch where we're uh, going up to here. Yeah, so that's good. Is that in line? Yeah, it's in line. So now, let's just see if we build our spiral staircase, if this will connect. It should connect, I think. Perfect. Okay, there we go. That's that one. Uh, and then we'll split... I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay, I know what I'll do. All right. So we can just go... Actually, this one's even easier. Yep, simples. Um, I don't 
think I really need to, but I could build a path that just goes like this. I kind of feel like I should just for uh, the sake of having a kind of nicely, a nicely distributed park. Gives people the option to kind of move around. Right, here we go. I'm going to put it up like that. Perfect. And open the slide. Open the slide. And of course the other benefit of building these in the design park is you can tweak, make sure the distances are safe and everything like that. Um, so that when you actually come to place them into your park, let's just speed on a bit here. When you actually, by the way, we can increase definitely the price of the pool a little bit right now. The pool is awesome, people to it. What's this challenge is? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, pause. You have been offered a new challenge, Curse of the Sphinx. A curse has been deciphered from uncovered hieroglyphics. The superstitious amongst us believe releasing it into the wild, a large number of scared cats should lift the curse and ensure prosperity. Release animals into the wild, 10 lions, 90 days. No, because we're not set up to do that. If we had like lions prevalent or if we had the money to do it, then I would, I would go for it, but, we, but we're not, so... We're going to stick with the rest of our plan. Right, I'm going to put the price up here to £4.50. Let's see whether people hate that or like it. Let's wind it on a bit. Right, let's see the thoughts here. Some new people coming up to go. Are they going to go in? There goes our inspector. An Elyron. I wonder what that's going to do for us. People are loving the pool, but are people going into the pool? That's the question. Here we go. Some guys going in. They seem happy enough. No complaints. Lots of people coming back out. People going in. Yeah, people going in. Oh, they're liking it. Now, I saw the comment before as well that somebody had said, and they were like, why don't you build... Um, they were saying, oh, you can make it so that when people get off a ride, they automatically have to go onto another ride, and you can build like a chain of rides um, so that people are forced to pay out for the rides. I was just like, no, come on, come on. You're, you're getting the spirit of the game, you know? Seriously, come on. It's like, I know there's always these weird little sort of glitchy things. It's not a glitch, but it, it's not in the spirit of it. Come on, you know? Play it like it's meant to be played. And it's just like, um, I hate how you can only put these like in the middle of the paths, it's kind of irritating. Um, it reminds me of when I played Age of Empires, alright? When I played Age of Empires, and my first multiplayer experience with Age of Empires, I, it made me just not want to play it. Every, this is my point, is it kind of, it just made me like not want to play it. Um, people are loving the Red River Roller, by the way. If you check this out, I love this ride. Come on, uh, hang on. Here we go, get ready guys. Woohoo! This is quite a fast but cool ride, I like this one. Woo! Okay, spinning round, into the tunnels. Wish, wish, and a nice long drop straight into the pool. Splash! Ah, just. Sm I was gonna say something else, but just. <laughs> I was gonna say something else there, but he smacked that guy in the head. Didn't, uh. Didn't tee that guy in the head. Um. What was I talking about? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Age of Empires. And um, so my first... Oh, somebody's lost their balloon. Oh, dear. Um, my first Age, Age of Empires experience was basically... I was playing a multiplayer. And I'd, the way I'd always played was you build up your town, you get some nice walls, you set it all out, you know, you start preparing an army, you have some skirmishes, you build a bigger army, and then you have an epic, awesome battle. This actually ties in very well with a lot of my philosophy about how to play things. And um, and the whole, do you win at any cost, you know? And uh, it kind of like, my sort of thing is like, the whole, if you win at any cost, fine. But what's the point? Like, it, it's sort of, you get no experience. So therefore, it's just, you know, it's stupid. Anyway, so what happened was, I started building up my little town, and I was like, you know, I was, I was aware that the guy could potentially come over and maybe I'd have some kind of confrontation. So I was, I was, you know, I was a bit prepared for it. I had a few militia or whatever they are. And um, I started building a little bit of a wall or whatever, a little bit of a wall. And then literally within like the first 15, 20 minutes of playing, all of a sudden this big militia comes and I was just like, oh man, what's going on? Or, and, and 
basically, and then I sent my guys over to sort of try and counter-attack, but it was too late. And what essentially he'd done, he'd used his own very cheap buildings as a wall. So he'd used the, the buildings to create the wall. And I was just like, ah, it was just, it seemed really like a cheap tactic. And I just was like, ah. And, it, you know, he literally, what, what, he literally, instead of like, Instead of thinking like, okay, we'll have a bit of a, a, a strength pitch battle, we'll have some really interesting combat, it was like, no, 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 we're going to literally just win in the fastest way possible. Like, how can I take this out in the quickest, quickest possible way? And it just it just kind of spoiled it. And I, I guess the whole kind of forcing uh, peeps to pay out for, wow, the pool is emptied out. What's going on here? See, this could go in with the whole... Look, remember how busy the pool was? And then I put the prices up, and like nobody wants to go to the pool. This is my point, you see, about the whole... Uh, the cash deal. I'm going to put this back down to £4. Yeah, see, people are telling people about my uh, overpriced rides. They don't want to go on it. Wow, we totally need some more food and drink stores. Look, there's just nothing down here. We need some more food and drink. Let's get a chicken stool. Let's get that down there. Let's get that opened up. We'll get some uh, bits on these things. Prices up a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's really about coming. I, I think you should just you should try to play games as they're meant to be played, and, and you get more of a fun experience out of it. And um, I spoke to my I spoke to my friend. I remember the Age of Empires thing clearly. It happened a long time ago now. I remember I spoke to my friend about it at the time, and he was like, "Are you sure that you weren't just like pissed off, Dave, that like he beat you really fast?" And I, was like, I was like, "That's a fair point," but honestly, it wasn't that. It it really was. I just because I, I I went into I, it wasn't about win or lose. I went into it thinking. I'm going to get like a really fun kind of awesome battle like you know maybe you lose maybe you win but I at least expected that I'd have like a great battle where I could use like siege weapons and you know um, uh, knights and some really interesting different units and things like this as you'd expect because that's how the game is designed but instead it was over in like 10 minutes because he'd literally just done it like use whatever tactics possible to just win in the quickest possible time what's the point like what's the point of doing it it's, there's no fun you know there's no fun Unless that is your fun, you know. Sometimes people say, "Oh, you're too serious." I say, "Well, you know, being serious is my fun." So maybe winning games in literally the quickest possible time was that guy's fun. <laughs> I can't imagine why, but you never know. Right. Okay, we're building some more stools right here. Right, we've got some uh, ice and stuff going on. I really need to fix the. Uh, I wish, was, I wish these were a little bit bigger. It's very irritating trying to click very small on these. I need to fix the uh, catch on my headset. It's got this damn thing keeps falling off my lap. Right, got some drinks, stools going on. Pool is still pretty quiet. It's got to be said. See what happened to me? I put the prices up. Look, and the goddamn place is emptied out. You know what else I find in this game is sometimes if you make things too expensive, this is why I've been really cautious about it as well. Like, there's a lot of people coming up here, like they're all sort of stopping halfway. Why are these people just standing around? I'm stressed. Safari hat is too busy. New attraction, giant slide. Yeah, we want some. We want the hell out of that. Is this for. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not. It doesn't go in the water pool, does it? But it's just like. Oh, or does it? Hold up. Zero designs available. Is that for a water park ride? I don't think this is... No, it's not a water park ride, it's just a, a ride. Okay, well, we've got a bit of a slope right here, look. So this is perfect. We can actually just do it straight down here. So let's do that. Uh, where the hell do people get on, then? 
I've never actually done this ride before. What is that? Is that... Oh, that's the side bottom. Let me start at the top. Okay, apparently we start at the bottom. Weird. Really? We start at the bottom? That doesn't seem right. <coughs> okay, well, whatever. Okay, we start at the bottom. That seems a really strange way to do it. But okay. Oh, I see. So it just kind of incrementally builds up. What? Now I can't build any further up? That's stupid. Super cheap ride as well. Okay, well, if, if that's all it's going to be, we'll do it over here. I was expecting a little bit more. I'm a bit disappointed, actually, if I'm telling you. Okay, uh... I don't know. Like... Let's just try and do it here. Whoa, what's going on? It's going, like, into the... Right, this is not working out. Um, is there somebody else? Can we do this, like, here or something? Oh, maybe, it, maybe it'll slide right in here. And let's try this. This looks like a perfect slot for it, like. Yeah, let's do this. That's probably enough. Uh, let's make it all slidey and coloredy. Actually, this is just... Okay, fine. Right. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Painting colors for all. There we go. Paint the whole bloody thing. Choose colors for the lights. No, we don't want any lights. Track orange and whatever. Purpley blue. Yeah, that'll do. Um, okay. Colors for the cars. Don't care about that. Maybe make that orange. Right. What else are we doing here? Right. We need to make a bloody um, entrance and exit. Do we just build this down the bottom? Yeah, because... Okay. Right, okay. So it's kind of auto-adjusted the side that the path is on. Okay, weird, right? It seems to be functioning though, so whatever. Um, Price-wise, we just... doesn't need to be too expensive, does it? It's only a little ride, for goodness sake. Right, we'll open that up. Okay, never had one of these in the park before. It's a bit of a uh, fun fair ride. Anyway, let's see how the pool is doing. Still pretty quiet. Man, I shouldn't have put those prices up. Seriously, it's killed the park. It's killed the park. I didn't see any new uh, shop advertisements either. I'm kind of surprised because normally you do have the kind of stuff, but um, apparently not yet today, so we're still waiting on that speed things along a bit. Coral the camel is unhappy because there are too many animals in its enclosure. Yeah, that's because of all these stupid little ostriches. Right, let's get rid of some of these. I can't click on it, damn it. Ah, there we go. Uh, we can do this. Ah, oh, we've got inflatable stores. Excellent. How do we sell it again? Ah, uh, here we go. Sell animal. 251. So, the little ostriches sell pretty good. So many. They, once ostriches start breeding as well, they seem to make a lot of babies. So I don't feel too much qualm about getting rid of them. Get to Oprah. Bye bye, Oprah. Right, there we go. And I guarantee you, in a very short space of time, there will be more little ostriches. Right, now we've got an inflatable stool. Excellent news. Means we can start hocking our cheap wares to the patrons of the park. Here we are, inflatable stool. Just the right way around, yeah. There we go. Let's just slap it in there, open it up. Uh, 
There we go, people are already loving the hell out of our inflatables. It's a shame we don't have other things as well. Right, the park is picking up business and I've adjusted their pricing scheme, so people are coming back in. Uh, we could, uh, I'd like to say as well, we could do with building a little bit more uh, reason for people to be up here as well. So let's add some extra things. We'll add um, some safari toys, why not? Some safari toys. Ba -ba -da. Bear ears, love it. I'm going to have some food and drink for the guys. We'll get a lemonade stand up here. Lemonade stand. Open that up. And um, what else do we want? Let's check it out. Let's have uh, a pizza shop. We can call it Mana's Pizza Shop. And uh, get that slotted down here. We've got plenty of space up here, so we can just... It's going to be a proper uh, food alley look. Veggie pizza, na 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 Okay. I'm going to check on my staff in a moment. I haven't checked on them for a while. And it's so dark up here. Look how dark it is. At least this place can be lit up a little bit. Where's the rest of the park? Look at the rest of the park. You can't see a goddamn thing. Right, let's check the stuff. How are we doing? How are we doing on time? 47 minutes we're running. Age 1000. Clearly sad. Poor age 1000. Not liking your job. 89% laziness. That is a horrific level of laziness, uh, age 1000. Not cool, my friend. There we are. Get you back to being okay. New attraction, mini sub. People like that sort of thing. Let's see where we can slap that down. What's our first prize, anyway? Animals of species 8, 7. Oh, so I need to get another camel. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's have a female camel. Oh, we can get a baby camel. Let's get a baby camel. There we go. Fantabulous. And it means... Got a bit of a track. Come on, buddy, wake up. Health is super low. He just needs to eat or something. It'll be fine. Right. Um, ba -da -ba -da. Right, that gave us a little bit of advance. Guests in the park, 500. We need 12 camels now. And we need to repay our loan. I don't know how much loan we've got. Let's look. Ten grand? Are you taking a P? Well, let's pay back a bit of that immediately. Right, we'll just pay up. As we make a grand, we'll pay off a grand and we'll just work it like that. Don't want to go overboard. Look, look, I was right. Look, mini ostriches already. Got two new ones. Get rid of those immediately. Seriously, these things breed like... Where's the damn selling thing? There we go. Oh, it's following its mother. I feel real bad now. Look, there's three! God, they, these things breed like rabbits, seriously. Sorry, Orv. Time for you to go. The younger they are as well, they seem to sell better. So these guys are going for like 260. If you leave it a bit, they'll go down to like 200. Insanity 1 has just had to make an emergency stop. Oh dear. How terrible. Oh yeah, look at it. It's about to blow the hell up. This thing, <laughs> you imagine. Sends like people flying up. No, I let the pool is doing a little bit better now. Doing a little bit better. The ostrich is pregnant again. I only just sold its babies. Jesus. Right, things are going pretty good up here at the water park. At the water park. Oh, sorry, that's the car wash. Not the right, uh, what else can we build going on here? Demon drop has got its door stuck open. Oh dear. Well, our engineers will solve that problem. What else have we got here? Blah blah blah. I'm just looking through the rides. Spiders. Blah, blah, blah. Twirling. Whirling dervish. People were loving the crap out of that. 
Let's put this in. People were liking this last time. It's a pretty small ride as well, so we can slot it in pretty easy. There we go. Just put it in here or something. Or over here with the other thrill ride. Or up here. It's a bit of a. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. Look, this is a great place for a roller coaster right here. And hey, let's put it down here. This will do. Okay. Let's just turn this thing around. Or, or do we? No, this will do. You want one, two. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do so. And we want to make a entry path like that. Okay, it's a new ride open straight away. It's going to give people a good reason to kind of stay in this area of the park. It also gives them something to do while on the way to the water park. Sky Sling. People love the crap out of Sky Sling, so actually, because I remember from previous parks. Let's get that on there as well. If I can. It's going to be here. Where is it? Sky Sling. There it is. Cheap as anything as well. Look at this thing. It's crazy. And people do love the hell out of it. Uh, I'm going to put this down here. It's quite oppressively big, but <laughs> people do like it. Okay, we're going to put this down here. I'm going to put exit right next to the other exit. And we'll get some sand going on. I hope people don't get confused. Sometimes people, in the old uh, roller coaster, they'd often get a little bit confused if you put like two paths next to one another. But I'm hoping that um, people will see sense and understand how the paths work. Right, there we go. That's our entry path created. Wow, this blue light is pretty awesome. Right, that's like a quid, seriously. Way too cheap. Let's put the price up a bit more. And we'll get some uh, da 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 da. Get some fire going on the edge of the path. Here we go. Put that down. Right, things are looking pretty successful at the moment. This thing's broken down. I think it might be time for a new uh, engineer soon. What's my engineers doing right now? Only altar held. Did, what happened? Did I not? Have I only got? Have I only got altar held? Right, we need another. We need another person immediately. And who is it going to be? Uh. Right, Carcass, you asked to be a security guard, but you're actually going to take on the role of engineer. So I hope you don't mind being changed up. So it's going to be uh, MRM Carcass. Right, let's get you down on the ground. Right, Carcass, you are my new engineer. Right, here he is. He's going for the uh, going straight in there. We do need some more janitors by the look of things. Although my guys are they're handling it pretty good, but it's getting a little bit overcrowded. So we're going to get um, another. Uh, we're going to get another janitor in. I'm just looking at other people that have asked to be things. Robson, uh, 1070. You're going to be my next janitor. Space Arcade. I like the hat sound of that. We'll have some of that. Right. Uh, let's just get more staff. Right. We're doing pretty good at the moment. Right. Let's put you down here. This is... Robson, 1070. You ready to go, dude? Ah, didn't check. Ah, there we go. Right, everybody's happy. Everybody's doing their business. Excellent. Right, so we're pretty much, to pretty much the end here, guys, I think. Uh, you can see that the park has developed pretty well on from what we're on the silver stage right now. Uh, we've got a little bit to do. We need a few more camels, and we've got to pay back the loan, but that's all pretty easy stuff. 
you can work on that for the next time. I think also next time what I want to do is I want to start getting some more animals in here. Um, so I think I can build like a bit of an enclosure on the end here or over here perhaps uh, for some sort of meat eating animals or something along those lines. Or maybe even uh, build a bit of a, a big park here, have some giraffes or something, that might be quite nice. Whatever else, the sky ride, look, it's flying up high. People are loving the hell out of it. Ostrich is about to give birth yet again. Bloody hell, seriously. Look, the, part, the keepers are doing a much better job with the crap, apart from over here, where there seems to be a rather large infestation of it. Um, but generally, it's looking a little bit tidier, which is very good. Uh, let's see if the baby camel is doing any better on its health. Yep, he's doing much better, which is great. I oh, like people are loving my slide. Look at how they ride it. <laughs> Let's watch, watch. Look at him go. Yep, they are really loving the giant slide. Got our lion. Lion tamer. He's right in there. Jeremy the lion tamer. Right, I don't know his name. Got a bit of a space here, guys. What can we put here? See this space right here? Sort of in between the sky sling and the water park. We've got this annoying mound, which I would actually prefer was level, but it's, there's no way I'm leveling this. It's just going to be way too expensive. So what can we put here? We could put a big water slide, maybe? Something big that kind of slides right around into this pool? Or I could add an extension, have a... I could have a second pool connected to this, and then maybe have some more slides again. Maybe I could build a slide that comes down here. Um, we could save our money and build a big roller coaster over here. That could work. Uh, in fact, I had some cheaper designs you might remember from my design park, so that could definitely work on there. Um, but yep, yeah, overall I think we're doing pretty good. I'm going to round this episode off though because uh, time is getting the better of us, as always seems to be the case. This this game takes a while though to sort of uh, get through and build, but. Um, I'm glad that you guys have been enjoying it because I enjoy playing this game and uh, definitely can do a lot more. Uh, but um, okay, I think that's going to be the end today, guys. A bit of congestion going on here. It's really very busy. And uh, that's, that's why we need to start building more stuff over here because we need to get these people out of this area because there's just... You know, there's just too many people in this area. Still, overall, it's not that bad. I mean, for example, we've got this space back here as well. Look, plenty of space for some things back here. So I think... One of the main, the two main things that I want to do next episode, try and put some in this space here, try and get some animals down, and then also I want to link the path, the path going right around here. I mean, to be honest, I could even do that now, but that'll be one of the first things we do. Grab this path, bring it around this pyramid, and reconnect it with the path over here, so we have a, a full circuit going around this pyramid. That'll be really useful. It help. Uh, get the peeps moving around the park a little bit more and we can kind of get some small rides going on around some of these areas over here so that'll be really useful ostrich is pregnant again give it a rest guys jesus let's just get rid of these little guys last thing to do oh we can still get some good money from right excellent and we're making some cash back great news right thanks for watching today guys hope you've enjoyed as always if you have drop it a little like and uh, don't forget to go check out the other videos on the channel particularly if you haven't watched it already i'm sure anybody you guys watching this will have watched it but my super hang on sunday this week god damn it was so close it's it's a good video go watch that um team raiders back if you didn't watch Team Raider, my playthrough the first time around, go check that out because uh, it's, it's ticking along very, very well. Uh, Going to make some more progress with that, heavy progress with that. Last of Us, that's on the way this week as well. So I hope you've all enjoyed this one, guys, as I say, and uh, I'll see you next time for some more Roller Coaster Tycoon 3.